Hello and welcome to Geology, a channel dedicated to making concepts in biology simple, easy to understand and interesting. I often get this question from my students, especially those who are getting introduced to genetics for the first time. They do not understand or they get confused between chromatin, genes, DNA, chromosome and ask which one of these is actually the unit of heredity. If you also get this question and want to know what each of these are, then stay with me till the end of this video. To start with, let us look at where these structures are found. For this, let us look at the generalized cell. I have taken an animal cell as an example here. This applies also to the plant cells with small differences. Now we are not going to go into the structure of the cell and the organelles. What we are interested is where the genetic material is present here. So one is within the nucleus, two is within the mitochondria in case of the animal cell. In case of plant cell there is also another organelle called plastids where you can find some amount of uh, genetic material. But the major portion of the genetic material being present in the nucleus, let us take nucleus uh, uh, exclusively. So nucleus as you can see is a spherical body which is almost centrally located. It is surrounded uh, or protected by a double layered membrane. Again we are not going to go into the integrities of the structure of nucleus here. Uh, focusing on the genetic material you can see there is a, um, uh, an entangled mass of thread like structure which is present inside the nucleus and this thread like mass is known as the chromatin material. So, uh, this chromatin material is made up of DNA and histone proteins. It is made up of DNA plus histone proteins. Okay. So, chromatin material is this entangled mass. Now, this is what we see in case of an undividing cell. But what happens during cell division. Now if this mass of entangled thread has to be divided into two equal parts that's going to be a very difficult uh, thing to happen. No, and In fact if you have to cut it, uh, if the cell has to, to get divided it will not divide equally. Whereas we know that in an offspring the offspring gets half of the chromosomes uh, from the father and half from the mother. How are you going to divide this ma entangled mass equally? So what in happens in reality is that during cell division this mass of entangled threads starts uh, con you know, condensing or starts uh, becoming uh, entwined and then it forms rod like structures which are called the chromosomes. These chromosomes are found in pairs one from each pair goes to uh, each of the uh, you know, uh, gametes. So cell division is a separate topic, we'll see that separately. Now if we had considered animal cells um, yeah, and if we had taken a human cell, then we would have got 23 pairs of chromosomes. Now taking each of, uh, take, let's take one chromosome as an example here. So during division you can see that the chromosome has uh, two chromatids or two arms, that's okay. Uh, we are not ge getting into that. But when you look at the structure of the chromosome, we find that these chromosomes are thread-like or rod-like structures. They are present inside the nucleus of the cell and they carry what are known as the genes. So these genes are present in linear order and the location in which the gene is present is known as a locus. So multiple locations are called loci, single location is called locus. So each of these are locus or lo uh, together loci wh where the gene is present. Now if you take one gene and then further expand it, you can see that the gene is basically made up of DNA. Chromosome is made up of both DNA and proteins the gene is made up of DNA. So an active portion of the DNA is what is called the gene. DNA is a double helix structure. We will take 
the structure of DNA as a separate topic uh, completely in a, in a separate video. But an active portion of the DNA is what is known as the gene. So a gene is basically a unit of DNA which is present on the chromosome and a gene governs the synthesis of uh, a protein or an mRNA and that in turn uh, controls the specific characteristics or the traits. So the genes are actually the units of heredity. So and it is the genes which are transferred uh, um, you know, they transfer the traits from one parent to another, I mean one parent to uh, the offspring from one generation to another during reproduction. Right? So, uh, to sum it up, DNA is, is the deoxyribonucleic acid, is the cell's genetic material. DNA is contained in the chromosomes. And they are present uh, within the cell in the nucleus or sometimes even in mitochondria and blastids in case of uh, uh, animal and plant cells uh, respectively. And the active portion of the gene, uh, DNA is the gene which codes for a specific protein which controls a trait. So genes are basically the units of heredity. And uh, it is the genes which transfer the characteristics from parents to offsprings during reproduction. Now genes are present in linear order on chromosome. Chromosome is made up of DNA and histone proteins. And these are visible during cell division. When the cell is not dividing, the chromosomes are present in the form of an entangled mass which is known as chromatin material. And this chromatin material is present inside the nucleus. So now you must be clear about the difference and the relation between chromosomes, genes, DNA and chromatin material. We will also take up some more question and answer on this topic in my part 2 of this video. Do uh, visit that as well for getting the maximum benefits because when you do it now you will get to understand, uh, you know, uh, when the concept is fresh in your mind you will understand uh, it better and solving these questions now will help you to absorb the concept deeply and you will not need to memorize it again. See you in the second part. If you like uh, the video or if you have any uh, suggestions or queries or doubts, concerns, please do write in the comment section of the video and do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next part.